Welcome back. The link between air pollution and respiratory diseases is well established. But the United Nations Children's Fund is in a report says that there is a growing body of scientific research which shows that air pollution can permanently damage a child's brain. The findings come at a time when India, particularly in the north, is facing a serious crisis due to rising levels of pollution. Our correspondent Nagin Singh brings us this report. While pollution's link with respiratory ailments and certain chronic diseases have been well established, a recently published report of the United Nations Children's Fund says air pollution can permanently damage a child's brain. It says pollutants can cause Parkinson's disease and even result in Alzheimer's. The UNICEF report, titled Danger in the Air, also states that South Asian countries have the largest proportion of babies living in areas where air pollution is at least six times higher than international limits, which is 10 micrograms per cubic meter. So in India, every single day, millions of children are affected by air pollution, and especially the babies, the newborn children. And we already knew that it affects the lung capacity. Uh, but now because of the UNICEF report that was published today, we also know that actually it affects the brain capacity of those children. So it affects their ability to study and to learn. So in the end, it has an effect on their future. Globally, 17 million babies under the age of one live in densely polluted areas that can be highly toxic for a child's immune system. An estimated 12.2 million of these live in South Asia. In East Asia and the Pacific, 4.3 million children breathe toxic air. Brain damage can occur in several ways. Pollutants could trigger neuron inflammation. This happens when the membrane which protects the brain from toxic substances is damaged or when magnetite and lead in pollutants cause oxidative stress, which results in Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. The gaseous pollutants like oxides of nitrogen, and this new evidence links the gaseous pollutants with mental health. And this mental health relates to our intellectual ability, our cognitive function, behavioral patterns. So it has been found that there is uh, an association between uh, the mental performance and the levels of these gaseous pollutants. The report warns that pollutants inhaled during pregnancy may permeate through the placenta and possibly hamper the development of the brain during the fetus stage itself. While the government does its bit, cities like Delhi, which is one of the most polluted cities in the world, need much more concrete and long-term plan to get rid of pollutants from Delhi's air. With video journalist Rahul Bhati, Nagin Singh, we on.